Hello again, I'm Scott Frank. I'm a doctor of audiology at Salem Audiology Clinic, and we're here again today with Michael Black, our product tester, who has been evaluating over the last several weeks the Starkey Livio Edge AI uh, behind the ear hearing aids. So Michael, how has it been going for you? In regards to the physical fit of the hearing aids, how comfortable are they? They're really quite comfortable, and this is a different seashell than I've had before. I really like the seashell. But overall, the, the devices are really quite comfortable. How has volume and sound quality been for communicating with friends and family in general? In general, quite good. Um, quite a bit more clear and higher frequencies than I've experienced uh, with other devices. Okay. And then uh, how about performance and background noise? That's a common complaint about people who use hearing aids is how well they hear with the hearings and background noise, particularly uh, like in a restaurant, understanding the speech of other people. I've had a couple of unique experiences where uh, I've tried the crowd setting and didn't get any more clear uh, reception from the voices that I needed to hear. Mm -hmm. One example was I'm working with the search and rescue uh, tracking experience training and Nearby, there was a, a chainsaw going, and it was extremely loud. And so I shifted to the crowd. It didn't help. It didn't make any real difference. Another experience was in the car. I tried shifting so that I could hear Janet, my passenger, my wife. And I could tell that it diminished the, the traffic sound, but it, it didn't really help. Um, didn't improve the clarity. I went back to normal and... and uh, that was acceptable. Okay. Yeah, with the chainsaw, that can be a difficult listening situation for just about anybody, though. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, these have fairly advanced Bluetooth uh, capabilities for linking it to your cell phone. So I'm going to start off with the most common feature for Bluetooth, and we'll talk about the more advanced stuff. For doing phone calls, streaming music, listening to audiobooks, how has that gone for you? Well, what Carol and I discovered is that the Bluetooth... Uh, version on my cell phone is not compatible. Okay. So we had to go to the Microphone Plus. And working with the Microphone Plus was awkward once I got it functioning and then I had to work with the app on the phone. Uh, the phone calls were real clear and when I would ask how the receiving party would hear me, they said it's nice and clear. Okay. But for me, the audio reception of the phone call was, was real nice, real clear. To explain what the difference is there is that some phones can work, uh, or cell, hearing aids can work directly with cell phones. We call that direct connectivity. Generally, iPhones are the easiest to do that with. Mm -hmm. With some hearing aid manufacturers, uh, generally all the hearing aid manufacturers can do that with iPhones. When it comes to Androids, you often have to have an accessory like the Remote Mic Plus to act as an intermediate device between the two systems. And with that, it did work well. Yeah, we discovered that a, a different model of the make of phone that I'm using would have been compatible, but this particular model was not. Mm -hmm. So uh, working with the Microphone Plus worked, but it was two layers. Work with the Microphone Plus and then the app on the phone. And the app on the phone is a beta app. Mm -hmm. Seems to me that the beta app and the Bluetooth issue made it really complicated mm -hmm. and uh, unreliable. We'll, we'll go ahead and talk about the app next. So what an app is, you can download an app to your cell phone. And with that, you can actually use that to adjust the hearing aids and actually do quite a few other things. Now with um, with the, this, you called it a beta app. It's actually been out for a while. And so I'm not sure how much of a beta. Uh, it's labeled as beta. Okay. So, um, so, but for generally adjusting the hearing aids and stuff like that, how well did that go? Cumbersome. Okay. Uh, frequently, the connection between the devices and the, uh, well, with the app would be lost. And there would be a significant delay to get reconnected for, you know, the app would show me that it's trying to find the devices, trying to find the devices. And most often it would not find the left device at all. Okay. 
So I'd have to go through a, a number of workarounds to finally, you know, either restart the devices, a couple of other things that I tried to finally get reconnected again. So it was, it was, it was disappointing. Okay. Now, one thing about specifically about the um, Starkey product and theirs is they try to actually take the hearing aids beyond just what they can do for hearing when it comes to the app. As an example, they have a fall detection system because often people who have hearing loss also have issues with balance. And um, what's neat about this is if you have a fall, it sends a notice it has mm -hmm. features in the hearing aid that can detect the fall. And so it sends notice to your cell phone that can then send a warning to a friend or family member who can come check in on you and stuff. So that's an example of one thing. Uh, but they also has a translator in it as well so that you can actually translate what somebody else is saying and hear it through the hearing aid. So uh, for those additional features that actually go beyond normal hearing care, how well did that, those work for you? Well, I tried three different languages and was impressed with uh, how accurate it seemed to be and easy to use. Okay, so as long as you can maintain that connectivity, that mm -hmm. was actually a pretty cool feature. Correct. Okay, so, and then you also had a um, TV transmitter. So often with these Bluetooth enabled systems, you can have a device, you plug it into the TV and it transmits from the TV directly into the hearing aids. Mm -hmm. uh, so for Starkey's TV device, how, how did that work for you? I tested that on two televisions and two different um, satellite company receivers. I tried it with the RCA connector as well as the uh, fiber connector. And for the most part, the audio quality sounded strained and uh, tunnel-like, but clear and enjoyable. Yeah. Um, each connection required me to increase the volume to, according to the app, according to about 80% just for comfortable hearing. Okay. Uh, in spite of whatever television program it was because of the you know, uh, change in volume. So um, I really enjoy having the feature, but um, this one was, was challenging, um, disappointing overall. Okay, so, so in summary, um, when it comes to, are there any features in this particular product that really stand out that somebody, that would work well for someone in particular? Well, the first thing that, that comes to mind is the moment that I left here and, and used them in a variety of hearing experiences, the hearing was significantly more clear. The higher frequencies, um, many higher frequencies were, um, just more clear, more available. Okay. Um, you know, it was it was entertaining to hear the the water running or the microphone or the um, micro that square box in the kitchen mm -hmm. microwave <laughs> microwave bell. Um, yeah, brighter, clearer, and human speech was uh, a little more clear. There was one thing that we had to adjust, and I still have a little bit of is the lisping. Okay. Uh, higher frequency voices, my wife, Carol, uh, recorded audio. The S's wind up sounding like uh, S, 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 H, H. And Carol did make an adjustment and improved it, but when I was listening to some music the other day, here it was again. Uh, amazing grace, mm -hmm. sounds like that. But I trust that can be an adjustment. Right, right, okay. Did you have anything else to add to sum, sum things up? Well, there was the one experience with the, the TV connection. If I paused the program or the recording for more than 30 seconds, I would completely lose the connection. I have to go through a whole bunch of other settings to get back. But as far as a device for you know daily hearing, nice and clear, real, uh, real crisp. Okay. Okay, that sums up Michael's review of the Starkey Livio Edge AI uh, behind the ear hearing aids. And we'll be trying something else new uh, shortly here. Thank you.